Hello again, everyone, and welcome to This Week in Turkey Valley Baseball. As the 2011 campaign opened for the Trojans, a busy week number one, and the Trojans started strong but end the week at uh, two wins and four losses after winning the first two games of the campaign. If you need more information on the games, you can catch it right here on this site, some uh, of the write-up plus uh, the highlights of uh, who had the big uh, night in uh, each particular game. So uh, look for that here. Uh, this report being brought to you by Rydell Chevrolet in uh, Waterloo for your next set of wheels. Uh, why don't you uh, take a trip down there? They have a great selection of new and used uh, vehicle. Plus they have friendly folks. And if you mention us, WDDnews.com and Randy, you will get an extra special deal from Rydell Chevrolet. And also brought to you by Fensel Oil and LP in Prodovan. Okay, we're going to hear on this report uh, four interviews from uh, Brady Kennan and Jordan Mitchell as they had heroics, as you can read about here, uh, in the eighth inning, two big hits for a come-from-behind Extra inning win for Turkey Valley in the home opener and the only home game play to this point. Plus, we'll hear from Coach Dan Steppen and Denny Broadbeck, the uh, JV coach, about an exciting sweep of key high in uh, the JV game uh, during uh, the, the week. That doesn't happen very often, that TV sweeps key, but they did it uh, this week, and Coach uh, Denny Broadbeck will be talking about that. And we'll hear from the two heroes, Brady Kennan and Jordan Mitchell, about that Nashville will plain field come from behind victory right after this from Fensel Oil. This is Kyle with Fensel Oil and LP Company letting you know that we are here to serve your propane gas, diesel, and gasoline needs. We offer sales and rentals of LP tanks, contracting, budget billing, and automatic filling to avoid inconvenient out of gas situations. Fensel Oil would like to remind customers that you must be properly trained technician to make modifications to any gas system. Please call us if you need any changes to your gas system. Contact us at 563-569-8205 or visit us on the web at FensilOil.com. Fensil Oil and LP Company, where safety and service are number one. Uh, Brady Kennan, big base hit, uh, game-winning RBI there at the end. Uh, what kind of pitch was it? That's a big thrill for a guy. Uh, just a fastball, inner half of the play. Just turned on it, got right down the line between first and second. Right where I wanted it to feel, so. And uh, you're going to be a big part of this ball club. Uh, they're going to be riding your back. Last night you threw the three innings of uh, no-hit ball and uh, picked up the win on the mound, and tonight you get the big hit. Uh, so you're going to have to be uh, dependent upon a lot, I think, this season. Yeah, it's a good start to the year so far. Hopefully keep building on what we have and see how the season takes us. Yeah, talking with uh, Jordan Mitchell, uh, Jordan did a heck of a job pitching, but the, the real big uh, was a big hit, uh, the double in the, the bottom of the eighth inning, driving two and then you score the winning run. Uh, has to be a big thrill for you. Uh, you bet. Uh, down in the count, just trying to protect and put the bat on the ball to get some runners across the plate and happen to connect and get a couple runs in. Then Brady came up with a big hit at the end, so it's a good job on Brady's part. Young ball club this year, but you guys have battled the last two nights. Yeah, and uh, it's going to be that way all year. We're going to have to play a lot of small ball, and uh, the top of our order is going to have to get people on, drive them over. Bottom of our order has got to get on base, so make those big runs to win games. Talking with Turkey Valley coach Dan Steppen, uh, we're talking between the games of uh, the New Hampton tournament and and coach start of the season. Uh, always a lot of uh, ironing out to do as far as the team goes. You have a, I don't want to say a young team, but you have a pretty much an inexperienced team. So this is really a good week uh, to, to get going. Yeah, I think a total of five kids over three-year starters for us. Uh, and replacing those kids, you're exactly right. We're not real young, but just inexperienced and not too many varsity innings back either pitching or defense and just trying to put some pieces together. I don't think at the end of the year it may look the same it does now, but, you know, some kids are playing themselves into positions and we're just trying to uh, find a good lineup to settle into for the year. Well, one thing I noticed from game one to uh, through the fifth game is that you, you, it seems like you're swinging the bats a lot better, especially at key high. It looks like the bats were really working good, whereas they seemed a little bit weak there in the first couple of games. We spent a lot of the preseason trying to go through defense and pitching. Right. We knew if you can hold teams down, um, it, it keeps yourself in the ball game. I was pleasantly surprised up at key high. Uh, they generally have guys that throw hard, and they did again, but our guy stepped in. Ben Novotny leading off the game with a double. I just gave confidence to everybody to, hey, we can hit these guys, and it doesn't matter key high or whoever. We get the bats going, we're going to be able to score some runs. 
And you probably, speaking of key high, probably should have got out of there with a split. Uh, that first game, a little bit of shaky defense and a few other mistakes uh, may have cost you a, a win over there. They, they absolutely capitalize on everything you do wrong, and we discussed that going into the game, and you could just see it. it was, and it was not a bunch in a row. It's just one here, one there. They get a run, they get two. All of a sudden, you know, they put two or three together, and we have the lead, and they get back. And, yeah, that's just they've been so good at that for so many years. We knew that would be an issue, and it, and it turned out to be an issue that first game. Well, one thing that this game comes down to in the end really almost is always pitching. And in high school baseball, you almost have to have a major league staff the way it's played in Iowa because you, you probably need eight guys at least in order to. And, and do you feel, feel you have the depth in the pitching right now? Uh, well, you've been putting a bunch of freshmen up there, and, I, that, and that's, that's the first time I've really done that. And that's okay. I mean, they haven't, they haven't backed down from what we've had to do here. Uh, we have a couple even vars uh, junior seniors that are inexperienced on varsity, right. too, and they, they've kind of felt their way this first week and haven't done too bad a job. So uh, we get through this next week with eight varsity games, and then it kind of settles down to five or six a week, and then I'll feel a little more comfortable. Right now we just have to kind of throw them out there, and we get what we get, and it's going to be good and bad some nights, but that's what we have to do. And what do you think is the number one thing you need to improve on in the next week or so? Well, from watching this first game, uh, I thought we worked a lot on our bun defense, but it seemed that New Hampton, this first game, three different um, situations that we've practiced, we didn't get through. Uh, a little more communication out there on the field, too. I, our guys are all thinking, but now we need to talk to each other and make sure, hey, I'm covering here, I got the bag, there are those, all those types of things, and just staying up. I mean, our kids have been good. I, they've proven this first week that they're going to battle. I mean, if we get down too many, they're, they're going to score some runs. They're not afraid to play anybody, but it's just, yeah, hey, stay positive. Let's keep this going. We're, we're in every ball game. We've pr we've uh, proven that we can swing the bat, so those are the big things. Definitely proved in the New Hampton game. You're down 8 nothing. We're thinking a five-inning game, possibly, and all of a sudden it's 8-6. Yeah, you know, and, and I told the kids before that, we're not playing bad. Uh, we, uh, uh, maybe a bunt situation here or there, and we're going to swing the bats. We were, It wasn't like we were striking out a lot. We were just hitting, and all of a sudden, you put a couple of kids together by kids that haven't had a lot of varsity of bats and get people on base in front of guys that we know can hit, and away we went. That's Turkey Valley coach Dan Steppen. Thanks, Coach. Uh, Broadbeck and uh, Coach, uh, something that doesn't happen very often, you, you, your JV team yesterday swept uh, key high. I think it was what three to two and two to one. So three so two two to one. right. So two very good ball games. Yeah, it was a couple of one run ball games. You know, it, it was a complete game. We got a couple timely hits here and there. We played some short game. Uh, that first game ran a couple back to back suicide squeezes. Uh, it's not the key high really played that bad, but uh, we had pitchers up there throwing strikes. We made plays that we needed to make and. Uh, I mean, all the credit goes to the kids. They kept their heads up, weren't intimidated at all by Key High, and that's that's something that, that that's a good thing to see. Right, and a lot of you know freshmen and sophomores uh, in there, and it really um, uh, makes you look at the future of Turkey Valley baseball. Looks pretty good. Absolutely, we got a lot of young players, and I, I say if we can field the baseball and put guys up there on the mound that can throw strikes. And then offensively, just put the ball in play and keep putting the pressure on them, keep putting the pressure on them. Even Key High is going to make a mistake at some point, and that's what we did yesterday. We had a, what was typically a routine ground ball to the shortstop, slipped right through the five hole of them, got into the outfield. We scored our first run that way, and then we just kind of ran with it. It gave the kids a big boost, and was, we were right there where we needed to be, and then we finished. And that's it for this report on this week in the Turkey Valley Baseball. For WDDNews.com, I'm Randy Novotny.